Hey, it's Sean from BMW Woodcraft. This is video number two of a live edge, faux live edge, arch table base that I completed for a client here in Atlanta. So let's get into it. So here's the end product for the video today. Uh, these are the laminated arch part of the base. You can see it's probably it's four pieces of three quarter ply glued together. We get into making it, and then I'll show you guys what I went through to make it and template it and. Uh, get it done so here we go so here we go making the template uh, I'm making this out of three-quarter MDF and it's pretty important to get this uh, as accurate as possible I'm not very good here with the bandsaw as you can tell so I uh, you know, had to find different ways to cut that line uh, I did clean it up with the router and the sander later on uh, right after this but uh, as you can see I'm not I don't use this bandsaw that often uh, I do have some boxes coming up pretty soon here that I need to make so I'll probably be uh, working on my skills there so so I'm actually using the template here to trace out the pieces of the laminate for the arch base. I'm using a, as much three-quarter scrap as I can just so I don't waste wood in the shop. So I also use the template here on the full sheet of plywood. There's a bunch of them on here. I just wanted to make sure I got as many as I could out of it, every sheet. Yeah, so this is the tedious part, you know, just cutting all these out. There's a bunch of them, so, you know, you just gotta take your time, get as close to the line as you can. I will be cleaning these up on the router, and then once they're together, I'll re I'll sand them down again, um, just to make sure they're they're all the same. But you know, the goal, of course, here is to get as close to that line as you can without going over. So, um, you know, fun times. So here's a better shot of uh, the top of the board. You can see, you know, I've got probably, let's see, two, four, six on there. And I'm just cutting as much out of it as I can. Uh, there's a bunch of these that have to be glued and laminated together. So, you know, uh, like I said before, this is just, it just takes a little while to get this part done. Um, but it's worth it to pay attention to what you're doing here. So you can see I'm using this template again. Uh, I'm at the router table now and I'm screwing the template down to the pieces that I just cut out. This is just to get them clo as close as possible as uh, the finished um, curve. And then once I get them together and glued up, I'll use the sander, the belt sander, um, to you know clean them up and make them all even. So these edges actually get veneered later on in the process so they need to be pretty clean
you can see I got most of the pieces cut out well all the pieces cut out and they're separate over there on the left and then I put one together you can see it's it's a uh, glued up pretty good you gotta use a b good bit of glue it's a little messy um, but it's important to have glue everywhere and then once I get this one done here I'll put them together and then clamp them up I am using screws to hold them together initially and then I'll clamp them and make sure they're all completely together and then I won't take the screws back out because uh, they can just stay in there it's not gonna hurt anything so and like I said I'm just laminating these together uh, there's four stacks and then you know move on to the next one So at this point they're all glued up, uh, they've had time to dry, and I cut one to the size that I thought it should be, and I'm using it as a template for the others, so I'm just marking on the pieces that I didn't cut, right, and then um, figuring out which ones need to be cut and marking those with a pencil here. And here I am just cutting it down, uh, you know it's funny I ended up having to cut these again uh, once I got the table mocked up. But I'll show you guys that later in another video. Uh, so I cut them down. I'm cleaning. I'm actually just cleaning up this edge here, and then I'm gonna flip it over and cut it to the edge, to the length that it should be. So here's the fun part: sanding it down. Um, I actually um, put two of them together. That way it'd be a little easier. If I had to do it again, I'd put four of them together, all of them, so that they are all exactly the same. So when I veneer, it'd be a lot easier. And I also actually probably would consider veneering them all together, use a bigger sheet and have less waste and then just cut them apart. So it takes a little while to get it sanded, especially with this uh, belt sander. So it's um, just really just cleaning up the glue and then just leveling all of it. Hey, we're knocking out some new videos soon, so make sure you subscribe and uh, follow me. Also, if you want to no see the notifications or if you want to get notified when the new videos come out, hit that notification, that little bell. And then um, if you want to see what projects I'm working on currently, um, hit me on IG at BW Woodcrafts and Facebook BW Woodcraft. Make sure you guys comment, make sure you guys uh, subscribe.